It's, 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 it's time! Pardon me. This way. Good. You're here. Time for that security detail. Let's go, you two. Ah, if it isn't the champion of the Arioc campaign himself, we surely could not have triumphed without your strength. You do me too much honor, Master Abdiel. I can only express my pride that the Japanese branch managed to serve Bethel's aims. Indeed so. A duty I am sure you will continue to perform. Of course. I will go on ahead to the conference hall. Ensure you are not late. I can already tell this is going to be a mess. Well, that means we're up. Please direct Yuzuru and his friend when they arrive. Sir. Sure. Greetings, I, Konsu, represent Bethel, Egypt. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I speak for the Greeks. And I, the Nordic branch. I shall be filling in as Lord Shiva's proxy. What, did the Lord of Dance tire himself out? Lord Shiva simply refuses to sit in with the rest of you. Now, let's begin with this pandemonic nonsense and be done with it. Abdiel? Very well. As many of you are surely aware, we have recently achieved a decisive victory over the Legions of Chaos. Sirt, Ishtar, Ariok. Each of them were formidable in their own right, yet all lie slain at the feet of Bethel, Japan. Henceforth, all forces that marched into the Netherworld may retreat and return to their normal duties. I am unconcerned with the fate of Lucifer's thralls. What interests me is the Lord of Chaos himself. Word is he took out the Creator. Tell me what you make of that. Clearly that falsehood was designed to lead us astray. Do not be deceived. Bethel must remain united. How dim are you? You realize with the Creator gone, we might as well drop the pretense of an alliance altogether. True. I see no merit in joining forces any further. Lord Shiva has in fact expected this, and is already preparing our next move. Patience, everyone. Perhaps it would do us all well to step back and review our circumstances. Konsu speaks wisely. 
Rather than acting rashly, let us each take a moment to reason amongst ourselves. This is a good opportunity to discern where each faction stands. Go and listen to what each of them has to say. See for yourself the Creator's <laughs> almighty handiwork. See how the Earth's inhabitants lament their injustices and buckle under misfortune. Had we the authority, we would create a world of gladness, where all are treated with equity and compassion. A time of great undoing is upon us. The word of Lord Shiver has been spoken. I must say, this world of flaws and contradictions fashioned by an absentee ruler is long overdue for renovation. Long ago, the Creator, in his boundless arrogance, issued an edict of condemnation, damning all gods to primitivity. This condemnation forbade the existence of Nahobino outright, thus preventing any challenge to his reign. Oh, how I long to break free of this curse. But wait, are you not a Nahobino? How could you have broken the shackles that bind us? If the Creator's dead, his throne ought to be free for the taking. At least, that's how it should work. Oh, I'm sick of hearing babble from that winged wench and her automatons. Eighteen years ago. Tokyo endured the conception unwittingly. Now, with the Shekinah glory fading, the loss we face would be unbearable. We were wrong to place our trust in one god. Only a multitude of divine beings can give the world the proper attention it needs. Furthermore, it is only right for us, the Amatsukami, to keep our land secure. I'm Japanese too, so I'm all for the idea of protecting Japan. Still, Master Abdiel's words make the most sense to me. I've always aspired to keep our city safe. To me, working with Director Koshimizu seems the most logical way to accomplish that. And now, with everything that's happened, it's clear to me that one almighty being isn't enough to protect Tokyo. Not by a long shot. That's why I want the world to be as the Director envisions. Where the gods of old watch over us, governing with their wisdom. The Creator can never be defeated. But were that even to be true, surely he would rise up once more. Yes, we must await his glorious return. Until then, we join hands and guide our people. That is Bethel's duty. Hear me. Bethel's mission is to sustain this world. God's world. Any objections? Damn right there are. I say you cut the act and admit your God is dead and gone. He speaks true. Besides, Lord Shiva will soon bring this world to its proper end. On whose authority? If any being is to decide this world's fate, it will be me. Not while the condemnation stands, it won't. It is undeniable proof that the Most High still sits upon the throne. Does he? 
Then how do you explain the Nahobino standing here before us? Are we to take it this god of yours deems him a worthy successor to the throne? Forgive me, but is he not the proto-fiend of Bethel? Has your god not chosen him? Very well. If his existence serves as blasphemy, I cannot remain in ignorance. Witness, as I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth!
Sans judgment! Corruption! Very well. Long ago, a time of The creator witness. 
as I smite this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth.
judgment!
Impossible. How could I have fallen? So this is the power meant for us. Not bad now, Bino. God was right to be afraid. Perhaps I too will seek out my old knowledge. And so were our ties to Bethel severed. When we next meet, it shall be as adversaries. May none be so foolish as to cross me. I must inform Lord Shiver of this new development. Well, I'm done. All have forsaken us for their own selfish gain. Does this please you, Sukuyomi? To see demon kind fall to chaos? To see all that Bethel has struggled for, scattered? I truly couldn't be more satisfied. Entrusting this beautiful world to such a vain despot was always a mistake. We shall establish a new world order. One where countless gods can freely illumine the horizon. As for you, Abdiel, may you find your home. By the way... Now then, I will go over our plans once more. As I stated earlier, the Japanese branch will become its own entity, separate from Bethel. And in order to save Tokyo, we are going to take God's throne. If there's anything you aren't clear on, now would be the time to ask. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. Anahobino is a god in the fullest, or truest sense. Our original form, if you will. In ancient times, we were all Nahobino. But when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him and diabolized us all. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls and all who came after. Ever since the fall of man, demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves, but they were doomed to fail. Long it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory. But with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, 
I will explain in full detail. The throne of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the Creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne, and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. Regarding the war of the gods, the throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean heaven, or simply the Empyrean, as it has become known. That is where the Creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Considering our fusion into a Nahobino, the claim is likely valid. Only Nahobino are allowed in the Empyrean's sacred space. As such, none have entered thus far. But you, however, Ken, do not fear. I won't let you go it alone. I intend to become a Nahobino as well. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. Ever since time out of mind, the gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the Creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power, enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. Aogami's true name is Susanoo. As proto-fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the template. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. It is my personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. Understood. So will he be the one to create the world, being that only the Nahobino can do it? It could very well end up being him. But what if I were to say that you, Yuzuru Atsuta, also have that potential? I do. After my time spent observing you, I am all but certain you are the one holding my knowledge. What? Yes, if you so choose, you too can harness the power of a Nahobino and recreate the world. Will you not do so in service of your home? But... that would mean... I'm the same as him? If I really do have that power, enough to save Tokyo, I'll do it. I'll become a Nahobino. Hmm. Your resolve is admirable. Excellent. We now have two Nahobino on our side, Atsuta and you. From here, we strike at Bethel headquarters, then make our way to the Empyrean post-haste. Hey, uh, guys? You think I could be a Nahubino too? My condolences, Dazai. But you do not appear to bear the knowledge of Anamatsukami. Oh... Don't be disheartened. I sense yet another's knowledge resting within you. No way! However, only its owner can identify it. So I suggest you stay on guard. A demon may be lying in wait for you. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Empyrean. 
I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno, given the density of Bethel's security there. So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid answer. Until then, please bear with me. <sighs> yeah. Hey, what do you think I should do now? I can't decide anything on my own. I guess I really do need Master Abdiel. Uh, say, uh, do you know where she is? Oh, all right, let's go see. Master Abdiel, are you all right? I lost to the Japanese branch. It no longer matters what happens to me. Th that's not true! You're not done yet, Master Abdiel! You saw what happened. Even an Archangel is no match for a Nahobino. Then maybe you just have to become a Nahubino too! I'll find the human who has your knowledge, and I'll bring them to you! That won't be necessary. Uh, but I... They're already here. Huh? It is you, Ichiro Dazai. You are my knowledge. Me? I'm your knowledge? Wait, that means... You can use me to become a Nahobino! The power of the Nahobino is forbidden. As the Archangel, I must not defy the condemnation. But if you became a Nahobino, then you could... Hey, can you hear me? What? It's me! Listen, we need to talk. It's serious. But I can't really tell you here. Would you mind meeting me on the roof? I'll go on ahead.
I just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, you're not wrong there. The Tao Isonokami you knew did die. But her soul was reborn by a power beyond description, forming who I am now. As the goddess of creation, my new purpose is to guide the Nahobino to his throne. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late, I want you to reach the Empyrean and recreate the world. You risked your life for me and Savori without even a moment's hesitation. To us, you're a true savior. And in every sense of the word. What power I have shall be yours. And together, we can forge a new future. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. Let's go forward together. We both know God's miracle is dissipating. Tokyo and everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, make for the throne and create a new world, one according to your vision. And to foster that, I'll escort you to Dot, where the path to the Empyrean lies. A new realm of Dot lies before us, one that leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping. But now, the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves, so... Something happen. You were acting strangely the last time we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> but whatever. I see you've got a different girl with you this time. 
What's up with that? As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm all you really need. Seriously. Because you and I, we're... Ugh, never mind. Forget it. <sighs> Anyways, count me in. Someone's gotta keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally. I'd like to ask you something. As a Nahobino, we can reach the Empyrean and seat ourselves upon the throne. Doing so will allow you to orchestrate the laws of the universe. In other words, you can manifest an entirely new world. So, should we reach the throne? What exactly do you intend to do? I see. That's perfectly all right, though. There's no need to rush your answer. What's it? This is rather strange, though. I feel as if something inside me is driving me forward somehow. It's not the same as the responsibilities that a protofiend feels upon creation, either. This is something that developed much later. It almost feels like it's come from a place of higher power than Bethel. Ah, my apologies for speaking so strangely. Please forgive my nonsense. As always, I know my purpose is to lend you my strength so you can carry out your will. I want to ensure that you create your own destiny without a single regret. For this, I will do anything.
Looks like the territory of the Greek demons, huh? <laughs> yup, must be. Gotta say, though, not the biggest fan of those guys. It's like they think they're better than everyone else, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 but their leader, Zeus, is kind of a scoundrel. I can kind of relate to that, just a little bit. Hey, you better not lose, got it? Judgment! <laughs> 